Donna Emery from Glover Nursery in West Jordan, Utah. We are going to grow butterfly bushes like this one from cuttings. The best time I think to take a cutting is late summer, probably August. And you're going to look for side shoots or terminal shoots that have at least two pairs of leaves and end in a bud. And I'm going to use flower clippers here to cut these two off. And I should get two more shoots coming from that area. Now I'm going to clip off the leaves. I'm going to cut these just below that second node. I'm going to get them in some water. And just dunk them in rooting hormone, tap them off. I have seedling and cutting mix in here. It's a sterile, lightweight mix. I've already dampened it. But I want to trim these leaves off. It needs some leaf surface to grow roots, but I don't want too much. And I also want to pinch that little flower bud out of there. Here, I'll show you on this one. I'm gonna pinch that top out. I can take that leaf with it too. And so I don't damage the stem. I am cutting rather than tearing these leaves off. And I'm just gonna snip these back. Trim this down so I have two nodes, two sets of nodes. Dampen it. Knock off the rooting hormone. And because this soil is so loose, I don't need to pre-make the hole. They'll be fine on their own. So I'm going to water this in well. You may have to water this two or three times in order to evenly moisten the peat moss in here. Peat moss is hard to get wet, but once it's, it is wet, it stays moist for a very long time. And then to give these little babies a greenhouse-like environment, I'm taking a large stick, poking it down in to keep the plastic away from those little cuttings. I could make four or five or six cuttings just to be sure I got some good ones. The stick is like a tent pole, keeps the plastic away. Then I can tuck the plastic underneath it or weight it with a rock, tie it with a string or a rubber band, whatever I need to to keep it from blowing off. Put this in a cool shaded location outdoors or a moderately sunny, moderately warm place indoors. We don't want extremes of either temperature to root cuttings. Check on them occasionally to make sure they're not molding. If they are, take the plastic off for a day or two. Water, let it dry out a little bit. Put the plastic back on it. It can take three to five weeks to see results on this. You would go in and gently tug on each cutting to see how loose it is or how firm it is in the soil. If it resists, then you can take it out and examine the roots, make sure there's enough root, and transplant it directly into your garden or just into its own pot for a few weeks to get a little bit bigger. Pretty easy to get butterfly bushes from cuttings, so give it a try. I'm Donna Emery. Thanks for watching.